Hi, my name is Nick Bonner with treestuff.com and we're gonna talk a little bit about arborist helmets, what makes them different, some of my personal preferences, and just kind of show you some of the assortment here. So I wanna talk about a couple key differences first and what really makes a helmet a helmet and what categories they fall into. So we have E-rated helmets and non-E-rated helmets. And generally what that means is does the helmet have vents or not? So vents allow air to travel through, keep your head cool, but they also allow electricity to pass. So the way an E-test -E works is they take a helmet shell, they sink it in water, they stick a probe inside and a probe outside. They fill the inside of the helmet with water. They electrically charge the outside. If they get any electrical charge on the inside, it doesn't get an E rating, right? So a helmet with vents cannot have an E rating. So we've got Cask Zenith without vents and an E rating. Cask Super Plasma, vents, no E rating. The other big difference between helmets is gonna be what is absorbing the impact, right? Is that a foam-based system or a suspension-based system. Uh, when I first started climbing, I always liked suspension-based systems. As I've climbed more and more and, and you know, worn a helmet more, uh, I've become really partial to the cask. Uh, I think it's got the, the best level of adjustability. Um, it's a little lighter than the Protos, I think, and not quite as bulky, but the cask is definitely my favorite. Um, I like the Super Plasma because I don't work around electricity, but if you require E-rating, uh, you can definitely look at the Zenith. Uh, from Petzl, we have a ton of different options. Okay, so here we have a Vertex vent. Uh, I think Vertex is by far, you know, top of the line helmet and definitely Petzl's best offering in my opinion. It is a suspension helmet. Uh, it's got your dual ratcheting adjustments here, really nice chin strap, um, and a very solid option, very solid option. We also have our Alveo Best, right? This is a different model and it does not have the vents, so this is an E rating. All the Petzl helmets that are rated best or have the best in the, brand, in the product description are E rated. Um, this is a foam-based helmet. So Alveo is foam-based and Vertex is suspension-based. That's how you can tell the difference between the Petzl assortment. Uh, all these helmets from Petzl and Cask, except your standard 3M Peltor earmuffs that you're very familiar with, um, so that's great. The Protos uh, is, you know, billed as the world's safest helmet. It has a front and rear protection on the CE rating, uh, and it did recently pass the ANSI when we were, when Fanta replaced the choroid insert with the foam. It's got a really low pro. Mesh visor available. It comes in two different grains, uh, as well as with a plastic visor that's available. And one of the really neat features about this that I've talked about in other videos is the way the earmuffs hide up inside of it. Uh, so very cool helmet, definitely at the higher end of the price point, but these are all great options for the Arborist today. And thank you for watching.